afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen and today I'm going to do a walk around video presentation for you of a few of our fantastic 2014 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEVs. Now these are just the standard FEVs uh, as we call them. So I'm going to start, you can see we've got five today to go around and it's all going to be in a one video for you. You can see here we've got three in white, really nice, and we've got two titaniums in the middle there. So I'm going to start with the front one here, AQB448, and I'm going to go around the outside. On this particular one, I will go through the features on the outside of the exterior, showing you the headlights and that sort of thing. On the rest of them, I'm just going to walk around and just give you a presentation on the paintwork side of it from the exterior, and then we'll go through the interior as well. So as you can see at the front, we have gone and put personal uh, slimline number plates on here, black and white slimlines, because they do look really, really good on the PHEV. You can see we've got our nice chrome grill in the front here with plenty of airflow through there. On our headlights, you will notice our HID headlights with our little washer jets in the front bumper bar and our fantastic fog lamps down below with a nice chrome surround grill there. Looking across the bonnet of these cars, Overall condition really good on the cars. You might find a stone chip or two along the front, but overall, really, really good condition. They've been well looked after. Ex Mitsubishi Motor Vehicles as well, so they've got good servicing and uh, been well driven. You can see here we've got our plug-in hybrid electric vehicle badging on the right-hand side. Coming down to our wheels and rims, we do have some fantastic 18-inch alloy rims here. Really nicely styled, a little bit different to the Outlanders and great tyres on there too. Having a look at our mirror, they are colour coded with the mirror uh, indicators integrated into the mirror. And then once again, looking at the paintwork along the side of the car, the overall condition really, really good. A couple of light little scratches just in on behind the door handle there. Colour coded door handles with keyless entry, which is why we have our black button there. You also notice we've got privacy glass around the back of the car, which is fantastic for helping to reduce some of that heat. What we do recommend though is getting the front windows tinted darkest legal and doing a clear UV tint on the back certainly helps reduce the heat and the uh, UV rays coming into the car. Coming down, looking at our rear alloy rim, once again, fantastic condition, no gutter rashing on these wheels so far. Great tyres on the back of the car too. And looking at our rear quarter, really good condition on the paintwork. Overall, just a little mark on the bottom of the bar there. And then having a look, we've got our charging fuel cap. So there's no fuel in this side. You can see here we've got our electric plug-in point there. Really nice and easy to use. Nice big cover on there. And then coming around to the back of the car now, you'll notice really nicely styled on the back of the Outlander PHEVs. We've got our nice LED tail lights here with a clear cover. So definitely nicely styled with our chrome strip right through the middle our high mount stop lamp and our rear wiper there. Once again, black and white slimline number plates here. Reverse camera, we've got our PHEV badging on the back there too. And then you'll notice down the bottom we've got our colour coded reverse sensors. We also have our indicators and reverse lights. Oh sorry, our fog lamps. Now popping the back of the car open for you, you can see here, Having a look in this one here, and we'll go through all of them as, as we go through the back. Having a quick look, they've all got the genuine older formats through this one. Underneath the storage, and you can see the carpet's well looked after here. We've got a uh, couple of charge packs here too, which is really good. And they'll also have the jack and everything for you inflating your tyres, as they do not run a spare wheel. You can see here we've got our really nice cargo blind in the back of this one here pulling out, being able to cover up our uh, stuff in there, keeping it nice and safe. And overall condition, really good. Couple of minor little marks on the back door here, but overall, absolutely fantastic looking around it so far. Looking at the back bumper bar too, really good condition along the top of it. No big marks or anything that stand out to me as we come around. Now having a look at the left hand side here as we go through, overall, so far, really good. We've got our fuel fill on the left-hand side here. Coming down, looking at our alloy rim on here. No gutter rushing on this side either, which is fantastic. Having a look at our wheels, really good tyres there. Bit of leftover polish on the car, which is nice to see as they do go off and get detailed for us. Having a look down the left-hand side now on the white one, 
really, really good condition from what I can see. Once again, we've got our color-coded mirror in fantastic condition there. And coming back down to the front of this one here, overall condition, really, really good. One little touch up there with a stone chip. Looking at our rim, fantastic conditions on this one and great tyres there too. As we come back around towards the front, very good condition. Now I'm just going to walk around the others and give you a quick guy, uh, condition report on all of them. And then I'll go through and go through the engine statistics and that. So on to our next one, another fantastic Fev in white. Looking across, you can see a couple of stone marks that have been touched up. Looking at the front bar, overall condition of the front bar appears to be in pretty good shape. There might be a stone chip or two there, but overall really good. Having a look down the left-hand side, uh, driver's side now, overall condition on the guard is very good. Looking at our alloy rim here, once again fantastic condition, great tyres there. Looking down the side of the car, overall so far really good. Bit of polish there. Uh, same again as we come to the back of the vehicle here. Once again looking at our rear alloy rim, perfect condition, no scuff marks. Great tyres on this one as well. Coming around to the back of the car now, you can see the overall condition of the back of the car, really good there. Once again, popping the back of this one open for you too. So you can see in here, we've got another one here with a cargo blind carpet mat set, which is really good. Looking under here, you can see we've got a charger with this one and another one up underneath. And we still have our spare wheel stuff there too, which is really good. Looking at the condition on the inside of the back here, we do have a little bit of wear on the markers on the insides of the uh, pillars there. But overall, and just some very minor marking on the back there, but overall really, really good there. Looking at the back of the bumper bar, overall condition very, very good here. Coming down, having a look at this one as we come down the passenger side. Once again, we'll have a look at our alloy rim there. Fantastic condition down there and great tyres on it as well. And as we walk around, the overall condition of these cars are really, really good. They do get very well looked after through Mitsubishi Motors, right down to the front. Looking at our front rim here, just a minor, no, it might even be uh, glue from the new tyres that this one's had on the front. So really well looked after there. Having a quick squeeze now to our next one being a titanium. So the first of the titanium colours, really popular colour here. Looking across the front of the car, the overall condition there, absolutely fantastic. No big stone chips or anything that I can see. We'll come back down the driver's side now, and as I walk down, having a really close look, absolutely fantastic. And the thing I like about the titaniums in this sun is when the sun hits, you get that glitter appear through the paintwork and really stands out, making it look really nice. Once again, alloy rims in great condition there. Fantastic new tyres on the front of this one as well, which is really good. Coming back down the rest of the car so far, looking very good. Overall condition of these cars, I'm amazed. There is no big marks. Looking at the rims again, and the tyres, fantastic. So as we come around to the back now, this is probably the first of the major marks I've seen, and it's a very minor mark, just there. A little scrape on the bar, and it might be a, yeah, just a little one there. So a couple of little marks on this one out of the three cars so far which is really good to see once again popping open the tailgate and having a look inside for you we do have a full set of floor mats in here again which is really good and then underneath we've got our charger and we also have our points there so really good there for having all the gear which is what you want and the inside of this one on the sides there and the back very very good very light marks just there but overall Probably the best one out of all three of them so far, having a look at that. And as we pop around, looking at the rest of the car, as we come down the passenger side on this one, overall condition really, really good. Bit of polish left on the car there. Looking at our rear tyre and alloy rim, really good condition there. And as we come further down there, looking at our doors, the overall condition of these cars, absolutely fantastic. I must say, I'm very impressed to see that. Once again, Fantastic tyres being new on the front and great condition alloy rim. Then we come to our next Fev, which is also in titanium here. So this one you can see the overall condition along the front here looking 
a couple of minor stone tips just on the front of the bonnet there. And then looking at the front, you might have one or two very minor stone tips there. They are hard to see at the moment. Looking at it, the condition of the paintwork right along our front guard here, really well looked after. Once again, looking at the alloy rims, excellent condition there. Great tyres on the front of this one. And then looking down, having a look, we've got colour-coded mirrors there again. Door handles, really good. I think that looks like it's a little touch-up there. Um, overall though, very good condition down the side. And once again, looking at our rear alloy wheels here, fantastic condition with great tyres on there too. And as we come around to the back of the car now, looking at the rear bumper bar, once again, fantastic condition along the bumper bar there. No big scratches or anything. Popping open the tailgate now, lifting up. Once again, we do have a set of floor mats in here, which is really good. We've got our cargo blind in there too. And underneath we do have our chargers. So it does appear that they've all got two chargers so far. And just on that note, having a look here, you can see we've got a 10 amp charge point on one of them. And let's see if we can find the other one. And the other one is a 15 amp charge point. So it appears that we've picked them up from Mitsubishi and they have given us a 10 amp and 15 amp charger, which is really good value there. I, know, I do know from a previous customer who has bought one before that they are very expensive to buy the chargers. So having one of each style there, being the 10 amp and the 15 amp, great value there as well. And then once again, on the left hand side of this car, Overall condition so far, really good. Having a look at the rim here, bit of uh, leftover tyre shine there. Uh, we also have great tyre tread there. Looking at the doors, really is hard to find marks on these cars. We've got one little mark just on the passenger door here. Being very picky to find those there. And now looking at our wheel on the front here, this one does have some gutter rashing here. Looks like it's just just scraped a uh, taller gutter and looking at the tyres really really good there. Now as we come back that's our fourth one and now on to our last one in white again you can see black and white slimline number plates there. Looking at the front of the car the overall condition really really good no major scratches or dents. Uh, it is hard to see the stone chips on the white ones if there is any so there may be a, mo a minor stone chip or two being a pre-owned car, it does come that way sometimes. We do try and point them out when we see them. But having a look, once again, the guards, everything in great condition. Looking down at our alloy rim here. Minor gutter rash just here. But fantastic tyres. They do appear to be brand new tyres on there as well, which is really good. And then looking along the driver's side of the car, really good condition there for you coming through. Might be just a couple of minor little marks on the door handle that I've caught there. But the overall condition of these cars, once again, looking at the alloy rim on the rear, fantastic there. Great tread on the back tyres as well, which is really good. So you know these cars have been looked after and well maintained. Looking at the back of the vehicle, once again, reverse sensors, everything's there. The condition of the paintwork, really, really good there, which is what you like to see. And then once again, look at this, they really do give you everything. So they've got the cargo blind in there, full set of mats once again, and looking underneath, there you go, you can see that looks, I would say, a brand new charge point underneath there too. And then you'll have your tyre goop and uh, compressor under there for pumping up your spare wheel, which is really good. Now as we come back around, right around the outside now, looking at the left hand side, the overall condition really good. Once again, looking at the rear alloy rim, fantastic uh, condition, great tread on the tyres too. And having a close look as we just walk up along the passenger side of the paintwork for you, the overall condition, once again, it is, I know I've repeated myself a lot, but I am very surprised out of five cars to see such great condition and very, very much the same. Only a couple of minor marks throughout the five, which is really good. New tyres on the front of this one, and a great condition alloy rim there too. Now we'll come back around and I might just pop the bonnet on this one to go through the stats for you so you can get a pretty good view. Now it may be a little engine noise and that coming through at the moment. We have had them all running because 
It's a very hot day today. Whoa. And uh, we've got the aircon running in all the cars. So as you can see, looking underneath there, we do have two engines. We've got the electric engine on the right hand side. Now that electric engine is going to produce 60, uh, 60 kilowatts of power and 137 newton meters of torque. And then on our petrol engine, which is a four cylinder two litre, that's going to produce 87 kilowatts of power and 186 newton meters of torque. Now you put the two com combined, it's really, really good. One speed CVT transmission, uh, four by four, giving us a average fuel consumption combined between the two of 1.9 litres per 100 kilometres. Now out of the 45 litre tank of fuel that this one carries, that is a very impressive 2,368 kilometres of driving out of one of these plug-in hybrid vehicles. All right, now to the inside of our fantastic PHEV here. Uh, I'm going to start on the driver's side here for you. Having a look, we've got our nice trim through the door here, leather on the armrest. We've got all our window switches here, as well as our door lock and our mirror controls. Turning my steering wheel to the right here, you'll see, looking down, we've got our reverse sensors, and we have our, I'm not sure what that one is, sonar off the front. Looking at our steering wheel on the right hand side, we've got our auto headlights and our reverse, uh, sorry, and our fog lamps, as well as our indicators. On the left hand side, we've got our wiper stalk. Now, the great thing is the front wipers are automatic with rain sensing up there. And then we also have on the end of the stalk, we've got our rear wiper control there. We've also got our paddle shifters for our regenerative braking as well. Now, while we're looking at the steering wheel, the great thing is with our lever on the side here, it is telescopic as well as height, height adjustable, which is really good there. So you can see that locks away nicely. And you'll see here, just we've had one of these come in and it's the first time I've actually seen it uh, come up for quite a while. Engine started to maintain fuel system. Now the great thing with these cars is they do have a 52K uh, range on just battery. So if you're not driving big kilometers, a lot of people won't even use any fuel. After a certain amount of time, if the petrol engine hasn't run, the computer system will actually say, I must run to run through and uh, lubricate the injectors, the fuel pump and everything, and make sure they stay working for you to maintain your, your uh, quality of fuel and so your petrol engine actually starts when you need it. Also having a look at our steering wheel, really nicely leather wrapped the whole way around. We have our cruise control on the right hand side and on the left hand side here we've got our radio controls and our phone for our Bluetooth which is really good there. Having a look at the main command unit now, you will see we do have sat nav there. If I push my mode button now on the left hand side, you'll see we can change how we see it all. But you can see FM, AM radio, we've got our CD player there, SD card, USB iPod and Bluetooth audio. Now our CD player is actually behind the screen so we can click on the monitor open, pops open and shows you where the CD slot is as well as the SD card for your own music. If you want, you've also got the map SD card in there. Coming down from there, we've got our eco mode and our hazard lights, dual zone climate control, which is absolutely fantastic, left to right. Down from there, we've got our 12 volt charge point underneath here. We have plenty of storage in front there and our dual cup holders there with two keys for this one. I think, I believe they've all got two keys with them. Now, having a look at our transmission shifter here, really nicely styled. We've got our P on the front for park. Popping across and up into reverse there. You'll see the reverse camera comes up nicely, giving us a guide with a meter behind the car at the end and 300 mil or 30 centimeters behind. And then pulling across and down into drive. Nice and easy there. If I pull it back into B, that is where we have our regenerative braking system. So if we take our foot off the throttle, the electric motors that are driving the wheels are gonna start to free roll as such and then create electricity that goes back into the batteries otherwise that will do it on its own standard but it won't uh, it's just at level two rather than being anywhere from one to five with the regenerative braking side which is where you control that with the paddle shifters as well you'll see we've got our charge button there so we can actually make the car charge the 
batteries up to 80% off the petrol engine and we've also got our save mode. Now that's really handy if you wanted to have the aircon running when you get in the car or you know you've only got a short trip, you can actually push save to save your battery. Our four wheel drive motor there, so we can go from four wheel drive normal to four wheel drive lock just at the push of the button. And then opening up our centre console here you'll see we've got our little storage tr sliding tray at the top, our USB and our 12 volt charge point there which is really handy for if you've got phones or iPods or that sort of thing. And you'll see the little divots out each side and the front so that you don't jam your cords uh, by running them out. Now as we have a look around the interior of this car, the overall condition is a look at the seats, absolutely fantastic. The carpets of course are great condition uh, with the genuine mats having been in here. <coughs> Excuse me, having a look right around partial leather so we've got the cloth as well as the side bolsters are covered in the leather which is really nice and as I mentioned before this one here uh, has that we're doing the internal video on you can see here Mitsubishi Motors Australia was the one who the vehicle was owned by looking at the service history on this one having done 43,000 kilometers on this one you can see here the first service done 15,000 kilometers the 30,000 kilometres is done, and we've done an intermediate service on the engine when we got the car in at 43,000 kilometres. So, full service history, and you're not going to be due for one when you pick up this car. All right, so in summary of our walk around video for you today, as you can see, we've got some lovely cars here, all ranging between 13,000 kilometres, being this titanium one right here, to our highest kilometre one here, which was around the 43,000 kilometres. Now as you can see the overall condition of the vehicles, absolutely fantastic, great fuel economy on them, very green foot uh, as you would say for the environment. If you've got any more questions about the cars, please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 0555 and thanks very much for watching.